Welcome back everyone to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. I hope everybody had a good holiday, uh, Christmas or and New Year or whatever it is you celebrated over the holidays. Um, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to unof unofficially call this uh, Season 2 uh, of Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Um, thanks to everybody who's subscribed and rated and commented. Um, enthusiasm is great and I love it and uh, that's why I keep making the videos for you guys. So uh, keep checking back every once in a while and I'll continue to post some videos. So we're going to get right into this one. Uh, we're going to do advanced lines today. Uh, that's what I call it. A lot of people don't necessarily call it advanced lines. You'll see what we do as we continue on here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the pen tool. Okay, With that pen tool selected, go ahead and make sure your paths option is selected. Normally it is the shape layer. Go ahead and choose the path option in your toolbar up top here. Uh, just as a reminder, if you can't see this, um, watch this in HD if possible. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go. Ahead, we're just going to go ahead and draw a path, and that's simply done by holding down the left mouse key, dragging it out. And you'll notice the box there. That gray box now has some wings. That's because we're dragging out our pen tool. Let's drag it out a little bit, and then do the same thing underneath, and then a little bit above that last one. Just go ahead and draw another. Uh, path there. So now you have this like squiggly line with a bunch of wings and boxes attached to it. Uh, that's now our path. You'll notice that in the work path, or it is now our work path, in the paths tab next to your layers, channels, whatever it is you have set up, uh, you'll notice that the path is now in there. Uh, and now we were able to manipulate this path and you know add some color to it and uh, change it up. So now what we're going to do in order to do that is to create a new layer. Okay. Go ahead and go and choose your, your brush tool now. And I have this selected already, which is kind of convenient. Uh, it's 17. The brush stroke we're going to be using is 17 pixels with a little bit of a fade around it. Um, just make sure you have that selected. You can choose anything you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. In this case, we're just going to use a 17. And with that selected and a dark color selected as well, go back to your Paths tab, right click, and stroke the path. Okay. Now this new window will show up. It's called Stroke Path Window. It's it's where you can manipulate and use different tools um, in order to create your line. In this case, we're going to keep it on the brush tool. Okay. Once that brush tool is selected, make sure you have Simulate Pressure check marked. Okay. And then just hit OK, and you notice that right away our line is created. Now I'll bring it above the path there so we can see what we've done. Okay. So that looks pretty neat. Uh, that's you know that I could leave it there. Uh, that's pretty much a standard way of doing it. And you can choose any brush and and manipulate the path in any direction you like. You can have straight lines. If you don't simulate the pressure, obviously you won't have these um, finished ends like this. You'll just have a straight line uh, or whatever it is following that path. Now what I'm going to do is uh, create a little more. I'm just going to get rid of that particular layer which we just did. What I'm going to do is create a little more um, artistic look to this line. So again, go ahead and choose the the brush tool again. Go up to your your um, in this case uh, the brush window is on and CS3 here is on the right. Just click that, open up your brush window, okay, and uh, choose a choose a different style of brush this time. I'm going to look for the one I'm I'm trying to get here. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it on 17 and let's just scatter the yeah that'll work. So okay so. Keep your brush on, on 17 with a little bit of fade on the outside. Uh, shape dynamics we can leave as is. Scatter your brush a bit and uh, let's up the count just a tad. Scatter it a little more. And this again, this is totally up to you as to what you want to do. I'm going to go to the size jitter. Um, create a little bit of a jitter on the size. That's in the shape dynamics. No need for angle or roundness and no need for that minimum roundness either. Okay, so let's yeah, I'm going to keep that smoothing on as well. So that's just kind of a quick uh, little bit of a scattering technique we're going to use for this brush. So close that window with your brush selected still. Okay. Create a new layer. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go back to our paths. We're going to right click and stroke that path again. Now we're going to keep, keep the simulate pressure on. If you don't want it, it's up to you, but it'll look better. And make sure you have brush selected again. And hit OK. And then notice that. We sort of have this, I'm just going to delete this path. We sort of have this, you know, 3D effect happening with these bubbles following your line. Uh, 
And again, you can get rid of the fade by manipulating some more of the brush uh, aspects of it, and the dynamics of the brushes, and using a harder brush instead of a, a softer edge to that brush. And again, that you just play around with it. You can use any brush. You can use some stars, which look pretty neat. Um, and you can just create whatever it is you like. Uh, and you can again, you can go ahead. You can come back to that layer. We can right click and add some color to it if we'd like, and, and maybe add some gradient effect. It doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. And it just it just sort of sort of enhances your art and allows you to be a little more creative with what you do. So that's it. I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Uh, it's pretty simple, like I said. Um, so again, make sure everybody you uh, rate, subscribe, and uh, comment if you'd like. And if you have any questions, I'll answer them as soon as I can. And just throw me an email through YouTube if you have any more questions. Thank you all. See you next week.